how long did you give yourself to teach yourself code and and sort of how what were the the, the foundations that you you seeked out to do um, you said that CSS you you had a look at before uh, but you found that a bit difficult did you revisit that oh yeah um, well first of all I didn't I I, I I told myself I'm going to give myself two years. Two years, okay. Because I, I, because I saw all these videos like, oh, become a web developer in in, in like three three, weeks. three, three months. Or three, three, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Learn this language in ten minutes, <laughs> and I was, I was like, I'm not going to put all that pressure on myself. Mm. Um, so I'm I'm going to take my time, mm. and uh, and I'm going to learn this stuff. So I started from scratch. I started again HTML. Right. Then I went to CSS, and then I went to vanilla JavaScript. And, uh, yeah. and then I, I went into frameworks, which, I, which is something that I shouldn't have done that early okay. after like two or three months. That okay. was my first mistake Right. going to angular react. I don't think view was, yeah, view, view was just getting a bit of traction, starting to get a bit of traction. Yeah. So I tried that as well. Yeah. So, um, so, so it sounds, it sounds like it was like a kid in a candy shop. You kind of looked at all of these frameworks yeah, and, exactly. and picked and choose exactly. them. I mean, you, you, you tackled the, th the three main pillars of, of front end development there. You've got the H HTML, CSS and JavaScript, vanilla JavaScript down. Um, so we'll talk about some hindsight sort of mistakes and, and sort of things that you would talk about to your previous self later on. But I think we'll, we'll touch on those points because it's very important.